All right. So parry in the jab. Now you're in your stance. You're catching it just like this. Let's do it from this angle. So you're right here. Just practice catching that in close to you. Let it come all the way to you. Don't reach out too far. Catch that right here. Bang. Let it come to you. Bang. Catch it real close to you. And you stiff arm right in there. And you open your glove up best you can. Just like that. Okay. Bang. And later, stay on that back foot. And what we're going to add bang, bang, is a catch and shoot. Bang, bang. All right. We're going to practice bang, bang, catching that jab and shooting off that back foot right at our opponent. So that's parrying. Okay. Slipping. Slip. Might be better to show you this way on slipping. So we just get out of the line of fire. That's the line of fire. It's coming right at my face. Boom. I'm letting it go over my shoulder. And I'm twisting just a little bit. All right? Slip. Right there. Now, that's slipping inside. Because here's his right hand. If I'm fighting an orthodox fighter, this is his left jab. His right hand's here. It's a little dangerous because I'm next to his two hand. But we got to learn to slip both ways. Because if you always slip outside, that's a faint hook waiting to happen. You always slip inside, that's a faint two waiting to happen. So you need to know to go both ways. And plus, there's counters on the inside that are terrific. For example, slipping in, boop, coming up with that uppercut. Beautiful shot that you can catch your opponent with. A little more dangerous because I'm close to his power hand. But it's beautiful when you execute it. Other thing, slipping outside. Just there. Boom. Now, as far as your feet go, I like to take little baby steps if I can. If I have time. Because what it does is it automatically engages those leg muscles so my counter punches are a little bit harder. But I'm not always in the best position. And sometimes those shots are coming so fast, I just need to get out of the way. And so I move at my waist. Move at my waist. Or maybe if I'm close to the ropes, which I wasn't never too close to the ropes. Not ever, but I tried to fight in the middle of the ring, and I hope you do the same. So even if you're a boxer or whatever style, it's best to be in that middle of the ring and box. You've got more room to move. But this is slipping, slipping and sliding. So we just slip and slide right here. Just practice that one. Shots coming right in. Move. There it is. Boom. Keep them hands up. Protect yourself at all times. Yep. Shots coming. Boom. Slip. Slip. There you go. Now bobbing and weaving. Doing this. Just like that. It's a little step. A little squat. I drop my butt. Whoop. I roll right up underneath that shot. Here it comes. Whoop. That's bobbing and weaving. Go so right here. Yep. And come back. Yep. Boom. Boom. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, right there. Just like that. That's bobbing a weaving. Get those rounds in. Get those rounds in every day. Bobbing and weaving, slipping and sliding, parrying, blocking. Boom, right here. We're using our skull, raising those gloves up, sliding them gloves up right there. Slide it up. Coming right at us, boom, boom, right there, boom. Now, you could put a little circle on, whoop, rolling up underneath the hook. Here comes his left hook, whoop, roll right up underneath it. Comes again, boom, touching his body, right? Here it comes, I'm going to touch his body, boom. And what you don't see is what's coming next. I'm going to roll right now, boom, boom, come back with my three. So you can do all kinds of different things with this tool right here. So slip bag, maze bag, slip ball, call it what you want. But this is defense 101. And drilling every day with this will make you very hard to hit.